A new constitutional carry bill has been submitted, and even the governor of this state is for it. Stick by and watch this episode of Guns and Gadgets. Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets, your premier source for Second Amendment news. I've been really tied up on two other major projects with some big groups, big national groups, that I really can't talk too much about at the moment, but you'll know when they drop because it's they're going to be big um, for the country, I believe, I hope. But uh, I've, been going, I've been going on this for like five days now and getting about two hours of sleep, so I apologize for not being here for a couple days and a couple videos I did do. I was sure to hear from the folks that the lighting sucked and, and the videos sucked and I looked tired and I was just doing the best I could, guys. Uh, it's been a lot going on, but uh, I'm here back in the studio and I uh, have some good news for you. Um, before I get going, it is Monday. It's a later edition, but it is the Monday Morning Grind brought to you by Blackout Coffee. And I wanted to show you this here. This ammo can gift box is available from Blackout Coffee. And inside it has 20 single servings or K-cups of uh, coffee of your choice. There, it's either going to be Brutal Awakening or the 2A, which is my uh, brew for this channel. You also get a 12 ounce enamel camping mug, a blackout coffee decal. These are on the website, links down below. It's blackoutcoffee.com slash GNG. And this one, you're gonna see on another video, I'm gonna figure out some stuff to put in this as well on my end, and this is gonna be a pretty big giveaway. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for Blackout Coffee for supporting not only this channel, but America and our troops and the Second Amendment and not wavering, thank you. Now. Uh, I want to talk about Tennessee. Tennessee is a state that most people would consider a pro-gun state, right? But there's a bill that has just been submitted that looks to uh, make it even more pro-gun, if that's even possible. Now, House Bill 18 has been submitted by Bruce Griffey, uh, who is a state representative in Tennessee, and this bill is what is being called a true constitutional carry Bill. Now, a good number of states have constitutional carry now, and I'm very, very jealous of that. But each state kind of has their own twist and turn and variation on such. And Tennessee is one of those that is looking to make it a quote-unquote true constitutional carry law. Let me give you a quote from the representative. He said, It is more than abundantly clear that criminals will continue to illegally obtain firearms and threaten the lives and safety of law-abiding Tennesseans. I therefore see no logical reason why law-abiding Tennesseans should face possible criminal persecution for possessing a firearm consistent with their rights under the Second Amendment to the United States Constitution and Section 26 of the Tennessee Constitution for their own safety and the safety of others. Why should a law-abiding Tennessean have to face a criminal with a firearm empty-handed. He goes on to say that law enforcement simply cannot be everywhere. In order to prevent the needless loss of life, citizens retain the ultimate right to protect themselves from the threat of death or violence, and this right must not be infringed upon. Now, Governor Bill Lee has been in favor of constitutional carry in the past already. In fact, in March, uh, there was a bill that was submitted, and that was House Bill 2661. And the governor said this at the time, The Second Amendment is clear and concise and secures the freedoms of law-abiding citizens to keep and bear arms. I am pleased to announce constitutional carry legislation today that will protect the Second Amendment rights of Tennesseans, while also stiffening penalties on criminals who steal or illegally possess firearms. So this bill could be great for people who live in Tennessee. Now, I'll have a link down below to HB 18. It's a very short read if you live in Tennessee. But basically what it is, is if this passes and gets signed into law, you would then be able to open or conceal carry a firearm anywhere in Tennessee if you legally own that firearm in the state but don't have a concealed carry permit. Basically looking to, get, to do away with the governmental permission slip, which is a win in my book. So that's a quick little update. Again, I'm sorry that it's been a couple days that I've been really tied up with something that I think is it's bigger than than me and this channel and it's a way for me to help the state and the country. Um, so uh, bear with me if it takes some time to do that. Uh, and I hope it just bears the fruit that we're looking towards as a goal. So thank you to all of my viewers. I appreciate you all so much more than you know. Stay tuned because I'm doing a video soon 
with this blackout coffee uh, ammo can that I showed you and uh, I'm going to do some type of giveaway. So thank you again for your time. If you're interested in Second Amendment news, no matter where it happens, good, bad, ugly, or indifferent, this is where you're going to find it here on Guns and Gadgets. Please consider subscribing to the channel and join this growing freedom family. Please head over to the Gundies, thegundies.com, and uh, vote for Guns and Gadgets and Breakout Creator of the Year as well as YouTuber of the Year. That would be cool. Um, thank you for your support. Till we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry a weapon, and I will see you on the next one. Take care, everybody.